Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Today, I'll be watching episode 2 of season 8, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Let's find out what happens since Jaime has arrived in Winterfell. He has made eye contact with his, um, with his past, Brandon Stark. So what is the interaction between them two? I am hoping there is some interaction. And my main concern is, I am pretty sure he's here to deliver the news as well. What is going to be the outcome? Because my thing is that Tyrion is going to look like an idiot in this for thinking that Cersei is, gonna, uh, is going to like send troops for the Northern cause and Sansa was very right to say that I used to think that you're the smartest man alive and I agree like Tyrion is making such like decisions that just make no sense because he knows that Cersei will never do this and I th even as much as I say he should have known better I just feel like it's just not his character to even think this so uh, I know he's always given the benefit of the doubt and always seen the good, but not this, not to this extent. Come on, like he was the he was behind that Blackwater Bay. Come on, that's not the same Tyrion right now, and it's really annoying me because, as well, if no one knows, like yeah, Tyrion is my life. So I hate to see that my life is going down in drains the way it is. So I, I I'm. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what the encounter will be, but I am ready to see what happens in this episode. And um, now that John also knows that he is Aegon Targaryen, what's he going to do? That's also another important thing, which I think he should act on for himself. So let's not wait any further. Let's get right to it. Oh, look at the tents. Oh, wow. Great attention to detail. When I was a child, my brother would tell me a bedtime story about the man who murdered our father. Who stabbed him in the back and cut his throat. Who sat down on the Iron Throne and watched as his blood poured onto the floor. Do you blame him? Denise? He told me other stories as well. I don't see an army. I see one man with one hand. It appears your sister lied to me. She never had any intention of sending her army north. She has Euron Greyjoy's fleet. Oh, and this is what I mean. Fresh troops. Even if we defeat the dead, she'll have more than enough to destroy the survivors. We. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. Dragon died for that, though. Your Grace, I know my brother. Like you knew your sister. He attacked my father in the streets. He tried to destroy my house and my family the same as he did yours. Do you want me to apologize? I won't. We were at war. Everything I did, I did for my house and my family. I'd do it all again. Respect. The things we do for love. I mean, that so was... why have you abandoned your house and family now? Because this goes beyond loyalty. He is a man of honor. I was his captor once. But when we were both taken prisoner and the men holding us tried to force themselves on me, so Jamie defended me. Yes, exactly. And lost his hand because of it. Exactly. Without him, my lady, you would not be alive. Exactly. He armed me, armored me, and sent me to find you and bring you home. Because he'd sworn an oath to your mother. You vouch for him. Mm, yeah. I, I, I mean... I do. Yes, you are. You do the talking. You would fight beside him. I would. I trust you with my life. If you trust him with yours, we should let him stay. Oh, God. Daenerys. What does the Warden of the North say about it? Well, King in the North... We need every man we can get. Daenerys, you know this is correct. Very well. Oh, God. Yes. Thank you, Your Grace. Really, Your Grace, then? I hate it. 
Either you knew Cersei was lying and let me believe otherwise, or you didn't know at all, which makes you either a traitor or a fool. I was a fool. Not for the first time. Cersei still sits on the throne. If you can't help me take it back, I'll find another hand who can. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> done making a few thousand of these you should make mine first are you going to be down in the crypt no but but you're a fighter you've done my share Ask him. you fought them i did some of them what are they like bad really bad really bad even a smith's apprentice can do better than really bad. What do they look like? What do they smell like? How do they move? How hard are they to kill? Look, I know you want to fight. I know you're not scared of rapers or murderers or... This is different. This is... This is death. She has some experience with that. I know death. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. This tree. Can someone tell me why this tree doesn't go into snow? Hmm, interesting. I know it's magical and all. Oh, I didn't even realize it's Jamie. <laughs> I was too hung up on the tree. I'm sorry for what I did to you. You weren't sorry then. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you were protecting your family. I'm not that person anymore. Oh, yes, we still would be. If you hadn't pushed me out of that window. <gasps> and I would still be Brandon Stark. You're not angry at me. No. I'm not angry at anyone. Why didn't you tell them? You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. Well, to be in his defense, he didn't remember, if I recall correctly. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? I hate it! I hate it! I already hate it! As you all know, I say that I am expecting people to die, but not like this. I hate it. Well, here we are. Yes, here we are. Together again. Okay. And the masses of interest. Are you sure about her? I am. She didn't seem sure about you. It's hard to blame her. I made a mistake common to clever people like underestimating my opponents. Was she lying about the baby, too? No, she isn't. No. That part is real. She's always been good at using the truth to tell lies. <laughs> you can be too hard on yourself. She's fooled me more than anybody. She never fooled you. You always knew exactly what she was. And we loved her anyway. I'm going to die <laughs> at Winterfell. <laughs> Not the death I would have chosen. I always pictured myself dying in my own bed. At the age of eight, a belly full of wine and a girl's Girl mouth around my cock. <laughs> oh. At least Cersei won't get to murder me. I'm sure I'll feel some satisfaction denying her that pleasure. Maybe after I'm dead, I'll march down to King's Landing and rip her apart. He's gone. I love that he tuned out of that part of your story. <clears throat> Jamie. Lady Brienne. Up in 
told you commanding the left flank. I am. Uh, it's, uh, it's good ground. The rise. It should give us some advantage. If we can keep a tight formation, we might be able to beat them back. What are you doing? What? I think you know. I truly don't. We have never had a conversation last this long without you insulting me. Not once. <laughs> you want me to insult you? No. Good. What? I came to Winterfell because... I love you so much. And I like my Valerian seal back, if you, if you don't mind, babes. I'm not the fight I used to be. We know this. There's a fifth I'd be honored to time. serve under your command, if you'll have me. JB! I'm ready to get back. Was that a yes? I don't like it because I feel like they're going to die. I just hate it. Forgive me. I hate Thank it. You. Have you done something to offend me? Many things. <laughs> Long ago and long forgiven. But you did forgive. When I heard you named Tyrion your hand, it broke my heart. When I named him hand, I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. You made the right choice. I wasn't under the impression you liked him very much. I didn't. But the mind behind all those words. He's made mistakes. Serious mistakes. As have we all. He owns his. You're advising me to forgive the man who stole your position? I am. And one other suggestion, <coughs> if you'll allow me. This is not reverse psychology, right? Lady Sansa, I was hoping we could speak alone. Seriously, we need to pull that guy is away. I respect him. I respect this guy a lot. <clears throat> I thought you and I were on the verge of agreement before. About Sir Jamie? <sighs> Brienne has been loyal to me. Always. I trust her more than anyone. I love what she's wearing. I wish I could have that kind of faith in my advisors. Tyrion is a good man. He was never anything but decent towards me. I asked him to be my hand because he was good and intelligent and ruthless when he had to be. He never should have trusted Cersei. You never should have either. Agreed. We've both known what it means to lead people who aren't inclined to accept a woman's rule. And we've both done a damn good job of it, from what I can tell. And yet I can't help but feel we're at odds with one another. Your brother. He loves you, you know that. That bothers you? Men do stupid things for women. They're easily manipulated. All my life, I've known one goal, the Iron Throne. Taking it back from the people who destroyed my family and almost destroyed yours. My war was against them until I met John. Now I'm here, half a world away, fighting John's war alongside him. Tell me who manipulated who? Oh, love that, I agree. Oh my God, that, what a way of words, babes. Oh, wait, I should have thanked you the moment you arrived. Good. I like I'm this. Here because I love your brother. And I trust him. Yes. And I know he's true to his word. He's only the second man in my life I can say that about. Who was the first? <laughs> Someone taller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul Drogo. And what happens afterwards? We defeat the dead. We destroy Cersei. What happens then? I take the Iron Throne. What about the North? The music. It was taken <laughs> from us. And we took it back and we said we'd never bow to anyone else again. What about the North? Oh, Daenerys. <gasps> Your sister? She only has a few ships and she couldn't sail them here. So she's sailing to the Iron Islands instead to take them back in your name. But why aren't you with her? Who wants to fight for Sansa? I want to fight for Winterfell, Lady Sansa. If you'll have me. It's a 
going to break my heart. Oh, no, oh. Look, I made it through most of my years without ever getting near a fight. But then I survived the Battle of the Bastards, right outside these walls. If I can live through that, you can live through this. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really nice. With bread? Which way should I go? Which way do you want to go? All the children will be going below when the time comes. I want to fight too. That's good to hear. I'm going to be in the crypt with my son. And I'd feel a lot better with you down there to protect us. I'm sure a lot of people would. Music. All right, I'll defend the crypt then. Dragon glass and Valyrian steel, but there are too many of them. Far too many. Our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. The Night King made them all. They follow his command. If he falls, your fault. Getting to him may be our best chance. If that's true, he'll never expose himself. Yes, he will. He'll come for me. Whoa. He's tried before, many times, with many three-eyed ravens. Why? What does he want? An endless night. He wants to erase this world, and I am its memory. If we forget where we've been and what we've done, we're not men anymore. Your memories don't come from books. Your stories aren't just stories. If I wanted to erase the world of men, I'd start with you. How will he find you? His mark is on me. He always knows where I am. We'll put you in the crypt where it's safest. No. We need to lure him into the open before his army destroys us all. I'll wait for him in the godswood. We're not leaving you alone out there. He won't be. I'll stay with him. Who's with the there? Ironborn. Theon will stay there. I took this castle from you. Let me defend you now. Sir Davos is perfectly capable of waving a torch on his own. You'll be in the crypt. Your Grace, I have fought before. I can do it again, alongside the men and women risking their lives. There are thousands of them, and only one of you. You're here because of your mind. If we survive, I'll need it. The dragons should give us an edge in the field. If they're in the field, they're not protecting Bran. We need to be near him. Dragonfire will stop him? No. I don't know. No, no one's ever tried. Well, fire is fire, right? F fire won't work, right? He walks through fire. We're all going to die. But at least we die together. This is not... Oh, God. Okay. Here, yeah, Grace. You've had a strange journey. Stranger than most. I'd like to hear about it. It's a long story. Uh, if only we were trapped in a castle. When Daenerys takes her throne, there will be no place for us here. I am loyal to my queen. I will fight for her until her enemies are defeated. But when the war is over, do you want to grow old in this place? In Winterfell? Is there nothing else you want to do? Nothing else you want to see? No. I'd like to see the beaches again. Oh my God. And I will take you there. My people are peaceful. We cannot protect ourselves. My people are not peaceful. We will protect you. Dorgonudo, your English is great. Ghosty! Where you. have you been, naughty boy? No. Be careful. And now our watch begins. Oh. 
Jilly, little Sam. I'll be safe down in the crypt. If you want to join them. Everyone seems to forget that I was the first man to kill a White Walker. I've killed Fens. Sen. I've saved Gilly more than once. I stole a considerable number of books from the Citadel Library. <laughs> Survived the fist of the first men. Need me out there. Well, if that's what it's come to, we really are fucked. Mm, well, mm. calling you fucked wouldn't be strictly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Wild Tarly, slayer of White Walkers, lover of ladies. <laughs> If we need any more signs, the world was ending. <laughs> Think back to where we started. Us, Gren, Pip. Last man left. Burn the rest of us. I wish Father were here. <laughs> I would love to see the look on his face when he realizes his two sons are about to die defending Winterfell. <laughs> I was a drunken whoremonger. It was all so simple. It wasn't so simple. I was sleeping with my sister, and you had one friend in the world who was sleeping with his sister. Well, my golden lion days are done, but whoremongering is still an option for you. It's not. The perils of self betterment. I shall bring him. Do not interrupt me. Contemplate your imminent death. You've come to the right place. You want some of this piss? It's not bad. It's not good either. Thank you, my lord. I don't think that's wise. Aww. The battle might start at any moment. Half a cup. Oh, so you? sweet. No. Thank you. I should try to sleep. You really think any of us are going to sleep tonight? Ooh. I figured I could wait to die freezing my balls off out there. <laughs> or wait to die nice and warm in here. Aww. It could be our last night in this world, you know? Yes, well, I'm glad you're here. Here, fighting with us. Oh glad you God. survived Eastwatch. Would you like a drink? <coughs> they call me Giant's Bane. Want to know why? Yes, we have heard this story before. While you were trying to attack the Night's Watch. Season 4, Episode 9. Let's start there. I killed the giant when I was ten. Then I climbed right into bed with his wife. Suckled me at her teat for three months. Thought I was a baby. That's how I got so strong. Giant's milk. <laughs> oh my God. Shut up now, you're just sitting there like a mute. Yes, while she was blind, she had to listen only, and she was no one. What are you doing up here? No, I mean, what are you doing up here? You joined the Brotherhood? You won't be on the wall with John. You're here now. Why? When was the last time you fought for anyone but yourself? I fought for you, didn't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, we had a bloody wedding. <laughs> My lady. It's good to see you again. Aww. I'm sorry we parted the way we did. Yeah. Was he on your list? For a little while. Ooh. When light... Taurus isn't here anymore, so I hope you're not about to give a sermon. Because if you are, the Lord of Light's gonna wonder why I brought you back 19 times just to watch you die when I chuck you over this fucking wall. <sighs> I'm not spending my final hours with you two miserable old shits. Oh my god! <laughs> she is catching up to the times. I love it. Is that for me? Look at that. This will work. Last time you saw me, you wanted me to come to Winterfell. Mm, yeah, I remember. Yeah, took a long way. <clears throat> what did the Red Woman want with you? Some kind of spell. Why your blood? 
I'm Robert Baratheon's bastard. I didn't know until she told me. Yeah, she tied me up, stripped me down, put leeches all over me. Is that your first time? Uh, yeah, I've never had leeches put all over your me. Your first time with a woman? What? I, I didn't... I wasn't with her. Were you with other girls? Before that, in King's Landing? Or after? You don't remember? <sighs> yes, I was. One. Two. Twenty. I didn't keep count. Yes, you did. <sighs> Three. We're probably going to die soon. I ought to know what it's like before that happens. Oh, yeah. We'll die with honor. I think we might live. <laughs> How many battles have we survived between us? So Davos Blackwater. So Davos Seaworth. Battle of Bastards. Survivor of both the Blackwater and the Battle of the Bastards. All without a shred of combat ability. So mm. surviving. Fable loser of the Battle of Whispering Wood. Here, here. Yeah, Rob was. So Brienne of Tarth. Defeated <laughs> the Hound. Pardon me, Lady Brienne. She's not a sir. You're not the knight. Women can't be knights. Why not? Tradition. Fuck tradition. I didn't even want to be a knight. I'm no king. But if I were, I'd knight you ten times over. Any knight can make another knight. I'll prove it. Kneel, Lady Brienne. Kneel. I pledge to fight for the North, and I will fight. I wish you good fortune, cousin. Thank you, my lady. It's my family, so... You still have a family? <clears throat> yes, and I'd love to defend them with it. But I can't really hold it upright. Your father, he taught me how to be a man, how to do what's right. This is right. 
It's Valerian Stable. The helmet if you take. I wield it in his memory. To guard the realms of men. I'll see you when it's through. How about a song? One of you must know one. So, devil? You'll pray for a quick death. High in the halls of the kings who are gone, Jenny would dance with her ghost. The ones she had lost and the ones she had found. My brother Rhaegar, everyone told me he was decent and kind, gave money to poor children, and he raped her. No, he didn't. He didn't. He loved her. Oh my god. They were married in secret. After Rhaegar fell on the trident, she had a son. Robert would have murdered the baby if he ever found out, and Lyanna knew it. So the last thing she did. As she bled to death on her birthing bed, must give the boy to her brother, Ned Stark. My name. My real name is Aegon Targaryen. It's impossible. I wish it were. Who told you this? Bran. He saw it. He saw it? And Samwell confirmed it. He read about their marriage at the Citadel without even knowing what it meant. Secret no one in the world knew. Except your brother and your best friend. It's true, Danny. I know it is. If it were true, it would make you the last male heir of House Targaryen. You'd have a claim to the Iron Throne. just I thought I should let that go and it sounds so beautiful I just realized I don't have tissue box this is such a disaster for my end uh, um, I am yeah it's heartbreaking Brienne Knight of the Seven Kingdoms Daenerys finding out that Jon is Aegon Targaryen last male surviving male heir to the iron throne understandable because this is like a big bombshell dropped on her understandable reaction now she's like there's a threat against her claim to the iron throne and with the way that she's been right now i feel like she's really because she's at the last stretch and I think that she's already like on edge in terms of what's the outcome of this. Her goal, like she's seeing nothing but the Iron Throne, but she had her conversation with Sansa and in that she was saying like how she came for John's war. She met John and all that and what changed her mind to come to Winterfell. I'm actually freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. It's, <sighs> I'm so scared. 
um this was yeah this was a bit sad in many ways there are so many things that happen and god like first Arya and Gendry so quickly and I know like because it's only six episodes and that's why everything's happening so fast but it's just that whoa wow that was out of the blue it just happened um and then the starting of the scene about Jamie and you know like I feel Daenerys Daenerys under I feel uh, I remember her like acknowledging the fact that Daenerys knew her father like knew the stories about her father and how he would laugh when people would be burn would when he would burn people and you know how he was I was just sex sexually aroused by it and how he used wildfire and played with wildfire like that and why like he had to be killed in that regard i i swear i remember her having these talks with uh barristan and then of course when she'd have talks about her brother and all that and that's when she would say i'm not my father and yes she, like you know i understand where viserys is coming from like when she when he would tell stories about uh, Viserys like what stories Viserys would tell them about you know the Kingslayer and what they would do once they took the Iron Throne but she'd also acknowledge Viserys was a fool and you know Viserys always used to tell the exact opposite about uh, Rhaegar and it was just like uh, exactly the same thing with uh, Jamie. I think maybe because she's coming face to face but I remember like I mean Jamie did try to kill her that's for sure so I understand but um, in terms of like explanation I just felt like she uh, it's almost like almost like I don't know if it was or not but it was almost like she was team mad king on that like she wanted to kill Jamie just because he killed her father and I understand Sansa's side of things yes but I thought Daenerys knew that then again, I, who am I to say, I mean, you know, what feelings run then and there. And she was just completely, she just saw Jamie, the one that killed her father, her family. And the reason why they left King's Landing and, you know, all that. So I understand. Um, but yeah, that was just a bit like what Dinette, what uh, Sansa did where she vouch like where Brian vouches for Jamie. She Sansa herself doesn't trust Jamie, but she trusts B Brian. That's exactly what I want between John and Daenerys. Like where where the North don't trust. Yes, they don't trust uh, Daenerys, but at least they trust the actions and the reasoning behind why John bent the knee. If they could do that. That means that they are opening their gates to more better possibilities. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. The the trust system. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working. I mean, they still have problems with Daenerys and they won't take lightly to her. But as I said, I'm hoping that since the, the, the army of the dead are here, I'm a, I'm, I mean, the next episode I even wrote it down is called The Long Night. Yes, it's it's the battle episode. Um, I'm assuming that this would be where she can be able to, like all of them can not only be able to defeat the Night King where John kills the Night King. I'm hoping that's what happens seriously with unfortunate death here and then and then. And then she is able to gain their trust by helping them win that war. So, man. Uh, but all in all, this... Um, and then Bran talking to Jamie about why, um, why he didn't tell... But if I recall correctly, Bran didn't remember what happened before the fall. You remember he just fell, woke up. He didn't remember and then he became the three-eyed raven and i'm assuming of course after he started learning he was able to see visions and whatnot he was able to see everything and 
yeah everything led to that and all that and by then that who was there to tell exactly um but something he said about who is to say that there is an after something like as if he was indicating that jamie is going to die i, I seriously cannot i even i think i need like energy for the next episode i need energy i need my kitchen roll since i don't have um regular tissues i need some support so i'm going to uh, best believe i will be having some sort of toy or a plush with me to hold on to so yeah just yeah i can't um and then <laughs> the conversation between aria Beric and the hound it was phenomenal like the last time Arya saw the hound was when uh, the hound was fighting for her against Brienne and the last time she saw Beric was when um was third season I think Ooh, when was it assuming it was the third season right yeah 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 because by then she had gone to Bravos in the fourth after the fourth season can't remember the timeline but somewhere where between third and fourth season where she um and then um <laughs> then tormund being tormund trying to chase brian and <laughs> talking about his giant's pain <laughs> and the milk that off fantastic i loved it and then pod singing i loved it. and pod really living he his training has come in handy and he is w very well for you know trained up with his sword like he is able to take care of himself now and he is ruling i love it i think it's it's a great great uh, trait to see that the apprentice has in fact successfully impressed the master that is Brianna and I love the fact that she was proud of him as well and says that he still has a long way to go that's exactly what a teacher would say and I love it because you it, it's fantastic I love that and then after that we um we saw you know that little girl that was talking to Davos and immediately when I saw Scar and Davos and a girl like the small girl who wants to fight and the music da, 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 da. oh i will cry dude oh i hate it i hate it i hate it and then um theon coming back and wanting to fight for winterfell and for sansa for the starks i think in that moment while i was crying i did manage to see um Daenerys's face where Theon is not coming to he's pledged his cause to Daenerys but he's fighting for someone else like he's fighting for Sansa or the Starks and I think that's where Daenerys was like oh my like you are not fighting for me you're fighting for her like that sort of a talk and I mean that's where I feel like Daenerys should be able to understand that she can't just uh, i mean with the iron bond like yes they fight for whatever they believe in and what not and i really don't care in the values but i would hope that she realizes why she's he's fighting for uh, sansa like the things that they have gone through it's more personal than anything else and that's exactly for the north like they are stubborn people but they fight for for the people they choose exactly why um exactly why you know she is how do i explain this exactly what she was doing is exactly happening here just in a different area so i just want her to realize that she is she's still the the choice but it's just not in the north at the moment and now that she's found out that John is Aegon Targaryen. I want her to not 
it's very hard. I completely understand Daenerys' side where he is now a true threat to the Iron Throne and he has every right and claim and people would support that more, more because he's John, an honorable man, rather than as what they were talking about, between, like Sansa and uh, Daenerys were talking about, who would support a woman? It's, it's, it, it is known like that. But for her to, because you know, she built herself from the ground up and just because he's a male, he has a better claim to the throne. And I agree with her thinking. She's like, this bombshell has just been thrown at her. She doesn't even have time to process it. And now she has to risk her life, her armies, her everything that she has done for a war that now may or may not so, like succeed but if they do succeed john will be on the victorious end because he can go straight to the throne you know i understand that like all that is going to run in her mind but i just hate the fact that you know it's just more like she is it's 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 like sort of almost like against her and i i'm team daenerys all the way like everything that she has done is for her and who better than her because she has she gives a choice to the people which is why i was saying like if there is an alliance between them two it would strengthen it and since i'm pretty sure like okay since john knows that he um that he's aegon targaryen has he had that feeling or need to be on the iron throne does he think that he is now in a better position to try and help the north by being on the iron throne is there so, sort of like his mind going in that direction if so then we have a problem with the way daenerys is feeling right now she, i feel like she is not having the support that she needs but at the same time if john is loyal to daenerys they can have that alliance as i said the marriage where having the north as their ally because the north trust john it's even easier to see john on the iron throne with daenerys by pledging like somehow someone pledges to someone i feel it's better for for um john to pledge uh to daenerys while he is i don't know if he can be king in the north but they can make an exception right they can try and do something where he still is like the main like the warden of the north or king in the north like they serve john in the interests of john right so like that something i don't know if that would work or if they can i don't think that's the reason why they they are so adamant about the fact that he is bent the knee to a, like a southern ruler man if they ever find a way to get out of this mess they should just relax and just be calm about it keep politics aside and see what the bigger picture is because in the end we are trying to survive and if we live that's the fantastic job and then we can talk about it and if we do live we're going all ham on Cersei and then after that yeah whatever happens happens but that's my thought i just think that it would have been easier in this way uh, i think they're just trying to make it hard so oof, i don't like it um and then after that the battle plan so what i understood is that bran is going to be in the godswood because the night king is going to come for bran he's made his mark on bran naturally what the Night King wants is an endless night to erase this world and Bran is a living memory naturally because he can see everything and therefore wants to kill Bran. So Bran being the God's Wood means that this is an open target for the Night King to come through and get to um, get into it. So the thing is that the Night King, what I'm assuming is, is going to be in the God's Wood by by the looks of it at least that's what the plan is to draw him out into there maybe there is a trap over there but i'm not sure if they explain that in detail but all we know that is theon will be protecting bran um because it will they will come in number and whatnot but if 
everyone comes to the gods, would they be able to protect Bran with the entire army coming to the gods' wood? Or is it just the Night King? I don't know if they said that. I can't remember. But in terms of... Um, in terms of the main open, we saw that Jorah was riding out, like almost he was getting out. And then we know that Brienne is uh, commanding the left flank. And um, Daenerys is going to have her armies in, in the front, like in the open field. That's very interesting. Okay. So I, I'm assuming that this is all of her army that is... Unsullied, Dothraki, and then of course the Winterfell folks is also are also going to be there. Mm. But who stays in the castle? I'm not sure. Maybe the rest of the group, like half of them are out, half of them are in. Okay, okay, Very interesting. Anyhow, um, I'm scared and terrified. So I'll see you guys in the long night. Let's find out how it goes. See you in episode three. Bye guys.